The National Academy of Mobile Electronics is proud to present a series of training videos for the consumer electronics industry. Each video focuses on a specific area of training with information that has been compiled and painstakingly applied over several years. These videos will make a great addition to your video training library and if you're just getting started they will save you hundreds of hours of head scratching. So sit back, take notes and enjoy. Here's Mike Bro. Hello, I'm Mike Bro. Welcome to the National Academy of Mobile Electronics. NAME has been providing quality training videos to the mobile electronics industry for over two years now. And now, NAME is offering training and instructional videos for the do-it-yourselfer. Each video covers key points discussing the fundamentals of mobile electronics installation. You'll receive easy-to-follow, step-by-step instruction from the same company that trains professional installers around the world. The unique and complete process for building custom door panels involves various aspects of woodworking, fiberglass, and upholstery. To accomplish each task properly, the use of good quality tools and materials are important. The following lists the recommended tools for successfully completing this process. A jigsaw, a router with a half inch flush trim bit, a staple gun, upholstery scissors, a razor knife, a belt sander, a finish sander, a heat gun, and a table saw. The following is a list of the recommended materials. Quarter inch or half inch medium density fiberboard, also known as MDF. A high grade particle board may suffice if MDF is unavailable. Quarter inch hardboard, eighth inch hardboard. ABS plastic sheets are suitable substitutes. Waterproof panel board, grill cloth, spray adhesive, wood glue, polyester resin, catalyst or MEKP, a plastic bucket, and a paintbrush. When designing the base pattern for a new custom door panel, Ensure that it is both cosmetically appealing and capable of housing the desired size and number of speakers. The first step toward accomplishing this is to lay a piece of half inch MDF large enough for the job onto the original door panel in the area where the new panel is going to be mounted. Trace the door panel's outer edge onto the piece of MDF. Complete the base pattern design by giving the top portion of the new panel a creative shape. Always stay within the interior cosmetics of the vehicle. For example, if the car's interior consists of sharp angular lines, a panel that is rounded in shape will appear out of place. A preliminary check for clearances inside the vehicle will be required. Ensure that the doors will open and close without interference from the dash, seats, or moldings. The glove box must open fully when the door is closed without interference from the new panel. Following completion of the base pattern will be the design stage of the baffle. Determine whether a single baffle will be used to house one or more speakers. Use the selected speaker or speakers to verify that the baffle pattern will be large enough. If separate baffles are preferred, each baffle needs to be just large enough to house each individual speaker. There should be size allowances made for creativity in the design stage of the baffles.
Once the new custom door panel has been designed and the baffle patterns drawn, proceed to cut out the baffle patterns. A jigsaw is the best tool for this type of job. Once the baffle patterns have been cut out, duplicates need to be made for the other door panel. An easy way to do this is to attach each pattern to another piece of half inch MDF and use a router with a flush trim bit with the appropriate bearing to duplicate each shape perfectly. The router being used here has been mounted to a router table. Once the baffle patterns have been successfully duplicated, take the pattern for the door panel base and attach it to two quarter inch pieces of hardboard. Proceed to router the outside edge of the door panel pattern. This will produce two perfect duplicates that will serve as the base pieces for both new door panels. Upon the completion of the baffle assembly, cut the eighth inch waterproof panel board into strips to attain the desired baffle depth. Then staple the panel board around the edge of each baffle. Keep the panel board flush with one edge of the baffle piece while stapling. Flush the panel board to opposite edges on each baffle piece to achieve mirrored imaged baffle assemblies for the right and left door panels. The construction process begins with determining where to place the completed baffle assemblies on the base pieces. To do this, simply lay the original door panel pattern onto each quarter inch base piece and trace the baffle patterns onto them. Trace these patterns on opposite sides of each base piece to ensure mirror images. To properly align the direction of the speaker baffles, place the base piece on the door of the vehicle in the area where it will be mounted. Determine the angle which the baffles will be mounted so that they are directed towards the listening area. Shims, wood glue, and a brad nailer will be used to mount the baffles at the desired angle for proper speaker imaging. The door panels are now ready to be wrapped with grill cloth. A utility knife, spray glue, and grill cloth will be needed for this procedure. Apply an adequate layer of spray glue around the inside edge of the baffle assembly. Flip the panel over and continue to spray around the edges of the base panel. Glue should not be applied to the surface where the grill cloth should not be adhered. Take the door panel assembly and flip it upside down onto the grill cloth. Apply glue to the outer edge of the grill cloth following the shape of the door panel. Allow the glue to set for the recommended time before applying the grill cloth. Once set, stretch the grill cloth over the door panel tightly, removing any wrinkles from the front side of the panel. Ensure that the grill cloth and the base panel are making contact all the way around the lip of the baffle by pressing down on the grill cloth where necessary. Using a razor knife, trim off all of the excess cloth that has accumulated on the back of the base piece. Flip the panel over and use a staple gun to staple down the grill cloth along the inside edge of each baffle assembly. Depending on the size of the door panel, a second layer of grill cloth may be needed to allow the polyester resin to be applied in thicker coats, creating a more durable and solid finish. A mixture of polyester resin and catalyst will be used to impregnate the custom door panels. 
the proper mixture for resin to catalyst is given on this chart. Once the resin and catalyst have been properly mixed, proceed to brush the resin over the grill cloth as evenly and smoothly as possible. Apply resin to the inner edge of the baffle assembly to ensure a secure bond around the lip. Do not allow the resin to run onto the surface of the baffle. Brush each layer on evenly and smoothly to minimize the need for additional sanding. Remove any brush bristles that may have come off during this process. To expedite the drying process, a heat gun or natural sunlight may be used. When using a heat gun, be careful not to allow it to stay on one place too long as this will deform the resin and cause a warped finish. Once the resin has dried, take the razor knife and trim around the inner edge of the baffle assemblies and remove the excess cloth. This inner edge will then need to be sanded flush to the panel board to allow for a clean fit of the grill insert. Flip the panel over and sand it flush to the base of the door panel. Remove minor rough spots with a finish sander. Note, if the resin dries shiny or glossy, it will need to be roughed up completely before applying vinyl. To do this, use a finish sander or hand sand using a medium grade sandpaper. Using a spare pattern from the baffle piece and a staple gun, attach a piece of 8 inch hardboard large enough to cover the entire shape. Remove the bearing on the flush trim bit and replace it with a bearing approximately 1 8 inch smaller in diameter. This process will allow for material thickness during the upholstery stages. Proceed to router around the baffle pattern, forming the grill work for the panel. Repeat this process for each grill that is required for each door panel. The upholstery process of this project may be fairly complex and a bit beyond the scope of this video. At this time, a basic upholstery process will be demonstrated for the grills and basic shapes utilizing a vinyl material. When upholstering the panel, cut the vinyl large enough to fully wrap the shape from front around the edges to the back. Lay the vinyl down on a table with the back side up. Proceed to spray or brush a high grade contact cement onto the back side of the vinyl and then onto the panel's front side. When the glue is dry to touch, lay the panel down on the vinyl, centering it in position for full coverage of the panel. Apply glue around the back side edges of the panel and allow it to dry before continuing. At this point, begin to stretch the vinyl around the edges, beginning with the interior curves and finishing with the exterior curves. Using a razor knife, cut small crow's feet on the back side of the panel in areas where the vinyl has bunched up. Use the staple gun to adhere the vinyl to the back side. Place the grill into the baffle and determine the placement of the drivers in the panel. Proceed to pilot a small hole in which the holes for the speakers will be cut. Utilizing a hole saw, cut the holes in the grill piece just large enough to account for the diaphragm of the loudspeaker. Using a roundover bit, router the edge of the hole cut in the grill piece 
to prevent the sharp edge from wear and tear of the grill cloth. In the event that dark grill cloth will be used, paint the grill using a dark colored spray paint. To wrap the grill, place it on a piece of grill cloth with a piece of paper opposite the holes to prevent spray glue from penetrating the front side of the grill. Spray glue will only be used on the back side of the grill. Proceed to apply glue around the outer edges of the grill cloth and the grill piece. Stretch the grill cloth tightly around the back edge, bunching it up during the process. Cut small crow's feet utilizing a razor knife to ensure a flat surface upon completion. Utilizing the pilot holes, which have predetermined the placement of the speakers, use a hole saw to cut the holes in the baffles large enough to house the speakers. In the event that a hole saw is not available, the baffles may have the holes cut before the actual construction process has been completed. In this case, a jigsaw may be used. A router and a circle jig may also be utilized in this phase for a more precise finish. On behalf of the staff here at NAME, I would like to thank you again for your support. I'm Mike Bro. Goodbye for now. This concludes our video presentation. For suggestions for new videos or the release of other training videos, call NAME 